you know, to the guy who said he had to leave because of the negativity, the truth is never negative. Uh, my claim is that that's a false bubble uh, for people who have raised their standard of happiness to ridiculous levels and sometimes need to circle jerk with humans spiritually for hours and hours and hours a day, even though they're in free countries. Um, and it, it's so uncomfortable for me to walk in and hear piped in birds and piped in Buddhist music and, and the, the, the tiny, tiny number of thought, thoughts per word that occur playing a game like that and, and the cheap laughs from people who have like sometimes more than just simply legitimate minds, some more or less finer minds. And, and I get that people are not that happy and they need to like socialize and use this amazing technology to do what sounds to wide open minded, pretty free, big brains, like the murder of eternity. Might you need it because you're sad and you don't have enough connection? Sure. Might a fucking refugee in a country with zero freedom look at you and think, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you're reading the Bible. Like, you should be held liable just for spreading that fucking bullshit. I mean, brilliant bullshit in that, wow, you just threaten the eternal soul of your readers. You, you, you threaten them if they don't buy bull, they will burn in fucking hell. The truth is never negative. Multiple layers of happy sounds and Gurdjieff and, and Tole or Tola, Tole or to, I say Tole. Um, to lay, to lay, to lay, to lay, uh, doesn't make shit fucking organic. Talking about being, or listening to people tell you about being, isn't, isn't being. Um, in being, you'd see a lot more, like, actual ideation, like, you'd see a lot more focus on, I think, the freedom of other people more than the enlightenment of the fucking self. Um, if there's one last statement... I would love to be able to walk into the room and realize there's a high aim in terms of like mind's horizons, in terms of mind's eyes, right? That people were looking for ideas of, of a more giant size, less incredibly fucking pedestrian. You're, we're better than this. You're better than this. Everyone's better than this. And if you're actually really sad and you need it, I'm sorry for adding this. You wouldn't have finished listening to it anyways. But the way things are is not the way things are. Things always change. This technology, I mean, again, you could do what you're doing on a 1980s party line. And it's random as fuck. And, and to call it organic, like it wasn't organic, like for me to invite Sheba to meet well the people in the other room who represent like I think the almost the entire core of the beginning of whatever this room is this is a, a, a fabrication a manifestation of my uh, not directly genetic connected sister Sheba what's up Sheba sorry to talk about you I know you're right there uh, baby sister because you're younger than me. Like, it's just, I'll bet the whole superverse that you're younger than me. And I don't mean to say that young people are stupid, but think about this. If you are 24 and a half, right? And we're not talking about playing football. We're talking about your mind. If you're 24 and a half, um, and you think that you, that you are a stronger, uh, more effective mentally at 24.5, versus at my age, right? Like, or me, 24.5 versus 49 fucking years old. If you're not growing over that period of time, you're not fine, like, and, and neither will your mind be. I am 49 years old and I'm gonna reach a point at, at years, decades, when my mind does not, like, fly so fast as as mine is want to keep in mind there is there is 
energy in the world, and, and there is a kind of disturbance in the force, Ken. The force, sorry, comma, Ken. There's disturbance in the in, in, in the force, in the energy, obviously. There is, it's stressed in some fucking super existential way. If you are totally open in this world and, and, and aware, if you're aware, Wolf, and you're open, you will feel this disturbance. You will be subjected to what can be called a 100% stress level. I'm open as fuck, and I'm exposed to 100% stress level, even though, I, in theory, I, I didn't ever have to worry about anything. But because I didn't have to worry about anything, like I was built inside of a wall, which caused me to have no defense mechanisms. But then I realized, oh shit, like you could, you could leave the... The, the walled, build that walled garden. You can leave that walled garden in like an armored vehicle, right? You can leave in a caravan of armored vehicles. And then like you can leave in a, in a fast chariot. And then um, you can get out of the fast chariot and, and just fucking walk on water. Have you ever walked on water? Like, I know that uh, Shebra is her learning, but I, I can't say for sure that I taught her about water or taught her about water. I can't say it. I can't do it. I've never been uh, to, to the light continent. And by the light continent, what I mean is Africa, uh, because Las Vegas will produce... To you noobs, sorry, Nubians, to you noob beings, essentially infinite hydrogen, like ludicrously beyond surplus quantities of hydrogen. And down the center of the spine of Africa will be three self-plugging and almost self-repairing pure silicate glass pipelines absolutely bad shit carrying high pressure but not always liquid hydrogen there'll probably be a liquid and a gas actually and and that spine will send a google trillion molecules of hydrogen per second from whatever the the the, the edge of of Las Vegas, down to the, the, the very tip of South Africa. When you deliver hydrogen to people, and you don't let it leak out. I mean, some gets out, right? But when you deliver hydrogen to people, you deliver them, unless the planet's been oxygen depleted as fuck. Um, and was, in that case, you'd be like, well, if we have all this carbon dioxide, is there some is there some way that we could grow something that would eat that shit um and and, and either eat it and, and also be uh dependent upon us right like some 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 kind of of life form uh, that perhaps could just could not propagate on its own you know like we would need super fast robots to plant the ba the babies clones of these seedless fucking carbon capture masters. So I call Africa the light continent because of the hydrogen. And when you have hydrogen, you have water, as long as you don't live in an oxygen-deprived planet. Um, and uh, you have electricity, as long as your fuel cell isn't broken. But you can also, like, burn hydrogen, right? Um... Kind of crazy though. If you burn hydrogen, you just get fucking. Or you burn hydrogen, you get. Uh, you burn something, you get water. Great. So that was all fucked up because I, I had to address the queen of your room, uh, Shebra. And then kind of doxed her. Said, "Oh, I said I've never been to the Light Continent, Africa." And then. Um, because I, I come from New York City in an area which is pretty liberal, I, I feel 
continentalist or something? I mean, I, mean, I am a, a northwestern hemispherist prick as fuck. That is true. But, and, and I, I love you too. It's just that when you layer spiritual shit and, and consciously, non-organically choose silly ass games to make you giggle like fucking giggle idiots, right? Like, like, uh, giggle idiots or giggle idiocy. I mean, which could be a name. Um, that, that drives me crazy a little bit and... I was trying to be a little more <sighs> final and, 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 and eloquent. But if you're there to just unwind, um, all right, fine. But just face that, right? Face that truly. Face your truth that you are not in, in a position that's sufficiently ad advantaged in, in, in your life. You're not sufficiently blessed at the moment that you can stop the bullshit and, and utilize your mind on something finer. Admit, like I'm not either. Either I'm not able to do more, or I'm not willing to do more. Or three, when you consider Discord, I'm addicted to the the the, the neuronal impulses and the chemical dumps, which come from the convenience uh, of Discord. And Discord does convenience, and Apple does convenience, and Amazon uh, does convenience. Like they do. Convenience. It is also convenient to like not drive, you know, ice cars forever. That it's it would be inconvenient. It would be truly inconvenient for us um, if we melt like everything. I think if we're gonna melt everything. We might as well start taking all the sand in the in the in the Sahara and turning it into glass spheres, and then melting melting all the all the ice and like Greenland shit and. Building a ring around. Think about that. Why can't we build a wall? I mean, animals is why. But like, why can't we build a wall around Greenland? And as the water melts and runs down, not to ground, but to, to the sea, we just catch that water and put it in fucking... I mean, put it in bladders first, and then... Put it in ships or put it in pipelines. I mean, you can have like a never-ending snake of water. I mean, it's a long story. But that, like, that's not, it's not all good. Like, say, I'm, I'm all good, and if y'all good, we all good. That's not all good. It's not all good. <laughs> 